Dreams E10 Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner with Auto Dust Collection Station LDS 3D Laser 4000 PA Wireless Smart Robotic Vacuum for Home. Hey guys in this video is going to be checking out the Dreams E10 Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner checking by right now. In terms of quality these are all kinds of customer reviews and price reductions. I have reviewed this Dreams E10 Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner based on personal opinion by verifying the market value. If the product you mentioned has more information and an updated price, it needs to be linked in the description below. Ok so start. The time has come for modern and independent cleaners. Now the robot does not need to be serviced every day by cleaning out the trash compartment. The self-cleaning station automatically removes the debris collected in the vacuum cleaner's container, allowing it to work for a long time in the machine. Special sensors in the robot give a signal to return to the base for the purpose of recharging and cleaning, and navigation algorithms allow you to continue from the left cleaning place. To collect garbage in the station itself, a large volume bag is used, which allows you to collect up to 4 liters of garbage. And periodic cleaning of the station itself is not difficult, about once a month or two, according to the degree of filling, we remove the bag and install a new one, without even getting our hands dirty. Self-cleaning process. The self-cleaning procedure is as follows. When cleaning is complete or when the dust container is full, the robot returns to the station to recharge. After parking on the station stand, the container cleaning process starts, the powerful motor of the vacuum cleaner built into the station column is started. Through special air ducts located in the base and column of the station, dust removed from the robot along with the airflow enters a separate garbage bag inside the station volume. Complete set in appearance of the robot. The packaging is really bulky. This is due, first of all, to the presence of a large-sized self-cleaning station, as well as a set of accessories. In my opinion, this is a great housewarming gift, voluminous and useful. The vacuum cleaner is built according to the classic scheme, a side brush, a turbo brush at the bottom, a tower superstructure with a lidar, contact, and non-contact sensors, including fall sensors and a sensitive object sensor. The instructions for use are quite voluminous. There is a section in English describing the main points of operation and maintenance of the robot, as well as information for connecting to a smartphone. The appearance of the DreamBot Z10 Pro robot is shown in the image below. The trash bin is located inside under the lid, and the wet cleaning plate is attached at the bottom of the back. On the front panel there is a sufficiently sensitive optical sensor for recognizing objects on the floor. Such a robot vacuum cleaner will not collide with scattered toys or other objects, but will avoid them by rerouting. There is only one side brush and must be installed in a special seat before using it. This decision is due to the overall saving of space inside the robot due to the used debris removal scheme at the self-cleaning station. But even with one side brush, the robot does an excellent job. Contour cleaning is carried out by turning the right side to the wall and skirting board. The air outlets are located on the back of the chassis. The installed wet cleaning plate is clearly visible, it is thin. The appearance of the working surface of the DreamBot Z10 Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner is shown in the photo below. The placement of the working bodies, side brush, turbo brush, electrical contacts, and fall sensors is clearly visible. The plate for washing is thin, contains 100 ml of water, which is enough for cleaning an apartment of a medium size. A dosing pump is located inside the module to regulate the fluid supply. The napkin is attached with Velcro and after cleaning, you should manually remove the plate and send the napkin to wash and dry. Note the two holes located between the turbo brush compartment and the wash plate. These holes are used to automatically remove debris after the cleaning procedure. The holes are aligned with a special valve in the dust container. When the cleaning mode is activated, the valve opens, allowing the station to collect all the debris from the tank. The waste collection compartment is located under the cover. It is enough to pull on the handle of the compartment then remove it for cleaning. The compartment holds 400 ml for debris and dust. Part of the compartment space is occupied by a special valve that is triggered when removing dust and debris at a self-cleaning station. There is an information insert under the cover reminding the main points of operation. The dust collection tank can be rinsed with running water and then dried. The HEPA filter for fine cleaning is removable, it can also be washed and dried. Self-cleaning station appearance. Appearance of the station from the DreamBot Z10 Pro Kit. It is a vertical column with a large garbage compartment with a platform for installing the robot. Two holes are clearly visible, aligned with the corresponding holes on the robot body. Inside are the air ducts of the vacuum cleaner built into the station. 
The station also contains a fill indicator and sensors for the robot's navigation. Of the useful points, I note the presence of an organizer for the wire. When placing the station against a wall in a wall outlet, any excess network cable can be neatly coiled up and secured to the back of the station housing. The internal volume of the station is approximately 4 liters, 1 gallon. Lid open and close sensors and a volume fill sensor are provided. Garbage is collected in a special removable bag, disposable. The design of the attachment and the bag itself is such that it allows you to remove the filled bag with garbage without getting your hands dirty. The average time for filling a bag with a daily one-time cleaning by a robot is about 2 months, the declared value is 65 cycles. So it makes sense to purchase several spare bags for the station at once and ensure work for the next 6 months. After completing the cleaning procedure, the robot returns to the base to recharge. Simultaneously with the start of charging, the self-cleaning process starts, the station turns on and begins to remove the collected garbage from the robot's container. The procedure lasts a few seconds, the motor is powerful enough and removes almost all debris and fine dust from the container. In order to understand the process, I show the very holes located both on the bottom surface of the robot and on the station itself. It is through them that garbage is removed to the station. Robot Control App When you turn it on for the first time, the robot will ask you to connect to the app. To do this, we activate the power of the robot, and scan the QR code in the instructions for setting up the application. To control the robot, download and install the Xiaomi Mi Home app. Just add the robot following the instructions. Pay attention to the recommendations for using the robot,